Hello piggy people. So today's video I want to speak to you about Annalise. So she is my almost five-year-old skinny pig. She is the last skinny pig that I have and she is not doing too well. So if you guys know at the start of the year I have lost Angus and Annabelle who are both related to Annie. So Annie was the mom to Angus and the sister to Annabelle. And so it really seems like the entire family has pretty crappy genetics. I adopted them all. And just this past year, it seems like four years of age for them and a little bit over is when things start kind of going south. So I will show you a clip in a second of what I'm talking about, but I feel like she's having heart problems. So she's having very heavy, rapid breathing. So as you can see in the clip, like she has her head bobbing and her entire abdomen, stomach, chest is all like moving while she's breathing, which is never that obvious when a guinea pig is breathing normal. So it's very exaggerated. So I have had three pigs in the past have heart issues. One had a heart murmur, the other had an enlarged heart, and the other had heart failure. So we go to the vet tomorrow for a health check to see what's happening. And I hope there's something reasonable I can do to help her. She started off with the heavy breathing and not eating properly. So I was doing cage cleaning the one night just recently. And I noticed lots of tiny poops in the cage. So a sign that somebody wasn't eating properly. And I noticed, obviously, that it was Annie um, as I was cleaning the cage. You know, you kind of have to have the pigs move from one side to the other. She was getting very winded doing that, and I could notice, like, her breathing was super heavy. And she would just stop at random spots in the cage and just stand there breathing. So that was really heartbreaking to see. So I did have to rearrange their cage a bit by making the food area right across from where she sleeps because I noticed she did not want to go and walk across the cage, obviously, to go get food on the other side. So since I have moved the food right in front of her sleeping area, she is eating way better and her poops are a lot better and she's drinking more, but she still breathes super heavy. So she does not have any other signs. She's not wheezing. She's not hooting. She doesn't have any discharge in her eyes or her nose. I haven't heard any coughing. It's just the massive heavy breathing. So we're going to get her checked out and I'll see what my vet says. It's kind of um, depressing because losing Angus and Annabelle already this year. It just seems really sad that now Annie's having problems too. It's been a really rough year, I think, for a lot of guinea pig owners. I know like Scotty's Animals and um, Little Adventures, for example, have lost a bunch of pigs recently. Just seems like a really crummy time for it. So I'll keep you guys posted what happens and what we find out at the vet. Um, Annie has lost a bunch of weight, so she's very petite now. So I really hope um, there's some kind of medication that will give her some help with her heart. But I will let you know. Bye, guys. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!